When discussing health and nutrition, many people question the need for supplements. Typical reactions include, if I eat a healthy diet, isn't that enough? And don't I get all the nutrients I need from my food? These are reasonable questions, so let's examine them. Firstly, it's becoming more and more difficult to eat a healthy diet in Western societies, even if you want to. Our food is often highly processed, containing large amounts of sugar and saturated fats and salt to enhance flavor profiles, but not necessarily nutrient profiles. In addition, our food chain is now subject to the effects of mass farming, depleted soil quality, picking fruit and vegetables before they are ripe, and then storing them for long periods, all of which may compromise the nutrient quality. But is there hard evidence for nutrient depletion? Well, indeed, there are a number of studies that demonstrate just that. Here we show the decline in mineral content of vegetables and fruit and meat in the UK over a 50-year period. The fall in quality is quite disturbing. This problem is not exclusive to the UK. It's a global problem. On the next slide, we see similar data in the USA for vegetables using data published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition. Protein, mineral, and critical nutrient values have declined in US vegetables. This data challenges the notion that one can get all the appropriate nutrients from the diet, no matter how good that is, let alone consider if your diet is not optimal. But supplements are not just intended to balance out dietary mismatches. We now know that nature produces many bioactive compounds that can have dramatic effects on our health and wellness, but they may not be considered normal parts of our diet. Medicinal plants are often not part of a diet, but they are used as needed and when needed. An example is resveratrol, a compound that science has recently shown has dramatic benefits on healthy aging and is found in red wine. But to get effective doses, one would need to consume 50 bottles of wine a day, not really feasible. So how do you incorporate the benefits of resveratrol in your health and wellness plan? Supplements are the answer. Supplements can also, through extraction processes, eliminate toxic compounds while concentrating the desirable. Resveratrol and wine is just one example. Another consideration is that extracts also allow us to avoid the burden of excessive amounts of other factors, for example, starches and vegetables, so we can keep calories low. Remember, eating more is not the answer to filling nutritional gaps. Balancing needs with solutions by bridging gaps with supplements helps us optimize our health with critical nutrients that may vary because of seasonal, geographical, and cultural reasons. So in answer to the question, why do you need supplements? It may be best to consider the alternative question. Can you truly afford to not use dietary supplements?